father. Captain Lithen has reported to me that the cosmic radar has picked up an unidentified spacecraft which doesn't belong in our galaxy. I fear this. It's Oraklan, the king of the night. In our galaxy, I've always reigned defending peace and justice. But Oraklan, the powerful king of the night, wants to take over my kingdom and territories. Sire, we have the weapons to defend ourselves. And everyone is ready and willing to fight. We cannot remain pacifists. We have to face this enemy. Oraklan has more advanced weapons than we have. Sire. We must put Plan Epsilon into action. But the Epsilon plan is still untried. It has to complete final testing. Well, we may have to use it anyway as a last resort. We have no choice. I herewith declare a state of emergency. Everyone to his post. Don't worry, Father. I'm sure we'll overcome the dark forces of evil. Bellstar. Oraklan is too powerful and too greedy. It will be an unequal fight. And I foresee the end of our beloved Exelon. No, Father. I'm sure our planet will come through in the end. It has to. Yes, my lord. Have you activated the anti-gravity systems? Yes, my lord. Good. Now put me in contact with that stubborn king of Ixalan. At once, my lord. Zeno, can you hear me? I can see and hear you. Speak. I'm sure you understand that this is not one of my usual peaceful Reconnaissance flights into your galaxy. You've made yourself very clear, Oraklan. Then you surrender. It's useless for me to surrender. You'll still destroy my subjects. Therefore, my answer is never. So be it. Ixalan will be destroyed because of your blind stupidity. Good riddance. Jamal! Yes, sir. Prepare for attack. Yes, my lord. Turn on the laser barrier. Switch over to direction control. Course 4013, 15th dimension.
uranium vapor rockets. Sire, we must counterattack with our forward observation craft. No, Lethem. I will not sacrifice any human lives in a hopeless battle. Very well. I'll use the remote control attack modules. Control room, prepare the attack modules for launching. Fire one! This is only the beginning. <laughs> Central computer received a direct hit. Our only hope now is to obtain help from our ally, Antares. Lithan. Yes, sir. You're the only one I can trust with this... with such a dangerous mission. Take my daughter with you as my ambassador. But, sire, what about the defense of our space station? I can't... I'll take command of it. We'll throw up a shield of mega rays to cover you during liftoff. Very well, sire. Now go. You haven't much time. Good luck. You too, sire.
social systems. The hydrogen booster units are already at 6,000 mega degrees. Give up hope, Bellstar. We'll not only get Antares, we'll get every king in the galaxy to fight at our side. Oraklan's days are numbered. Three, two, one. It's your turn. Oh! <laughs> All units stand down. Mission accomplished. We can return to base now. Someone has managed to elude me. Bell Star. You galactic idiots. Imbeciles. Bell Star and Lithin are escaping. We are not returning to base until I have their heads at my feet, whatever the cost. Look. Horaclan has discovered our escape. Still, we have a lead on him. And our craft is much smaller and easier to maneuver. Yeah, and much slower. <laughs> Increase speed. Assume delta formation. The course is 0392. I repeat, 392. Coming at us from all sides. Check the pressure of the defensive shield. I'll start up the magnetic generators. We'll make a run for it. If we drop away on a zero tangent, we'll come under the influence of Krithos. Its negative gravitation will thrust us into deep space. The defensive shield is operative. All energy levels are go. Well, now we'll find out if the Epsilon plan really works. Ready? Yes. Deceive me, you have failed. No one from Ixlan is going to escape death. Especially not you, the daughter of its king. Huh? Fire! Fire!
I've isolated the inertial circuits. The damage is limited. The left quadrant indicates we're off course. Right, the computer is already handling that. We're protected by the Omega unit, which is activated automatically the moment there's a navigational malfunction. How did they manage to disappear like that? The cosmic radar scanning rays can no longer pick up their signal. Fool! Jamal, we must find them! Use a megametric teleprobe and scan the whole eastern galaxy! Sir. Wait! Including the equidistant conic tangent. Yes, my lord. Calling all units. Deploy in delta formation. Lower altitude by a thousand degrees. <laughs> Glad that's over. But the emergency power units are not sufficient. When they give out, we'll be adrift in space. Forever. Where do you think we are now? We have no way of telling. I propose we land on the first asteroid we encounter and try to repair the navigational system. And we can't even go back. Oriklon will still be looking for us. Right, and if we land anywhere, we may not have enough power to lift off again. Well, let's see how much maneuverability we have left. We're getting nearer and nearer to a heliocentric point. What solar system is it? It's impossible to calculate for sure. Listen, come and look at this. I don't see any volcanic deserts, and there are no visible craters. It's completely unlike any planet I've ever seen before. What strange colors. This is where we can make our repairs. Bring us closer. It's amazing. I've landed on planets all over the galaxy, but never without charts or surface coordinates. Well, do you want to risk it? Yes. Check the composition of the atmosphere. According to the computer, the atmosphere is oxygen and nitrogen with a small percentage of carbon dioxide. Perfect. I'll keep your fingers crossed.
only frightened. Don't worry. I won't kill anyone. That's not exactly what you'd call a warm welcome. No. Somehow we must make them understand that we come in peace. We can try. But I've got an uncomfortable feeling it's not going to be that easy. There's no one here. giant flying monster come down from the sky. It landed over there, and two people in strange clothes came out of it. They've come to destroy it. Did you do anything to, to harm them? We tried to talk to them, but it was impossible. They have supernatural powers. I say they're not human. Yourself. They're in the ravine. Wait here for my return. of a planet have we landed on? Evidently, these people are 20 or 30,000 years behind our times. We must take the women and children to a safe place. In case they attack, we must be prepared. But what can you use for weapons against them? What is that stuff? It's water. 
I once saw some in my father's collection of intergalactic minerals. What do you use it for? It's two parts hydrogen and one part oxygen. Huh. No! What are you trying to do? Are you crazy? You have no reason whatsoever to be afraid. Now hide among the rocks. I promise you that before they can harm us, we will capture them. Follow me. They're over there. Quiet down. You surround them and disarm them before they can use their weapons. I don't want them hurt. Come. Strange. I could have sworn they were coming from here. What do you make of it? I guess it was an acoustic phenomenon. A repetition of sounds that played a trick on us. Let's get back to the ship. We 
have no intention of harming you. Take them away. I really can't understand. Here we are, prisoners of these primitive people. Let me use my beta ray. We could blast our way out of here in seconds. I know. But I'm sure with a little patience, we'll be able to convince them we don't mean any harm. Silence! Silence! That's enough! We agree, all of us, that they must die. They must be burned! be burned alive, their bodies consumed by the flames, and their ashes thrown to the winds. In this way, their evil spirits will be destroyed forever, along with their bodies. no choice. We're not of our world. We cannot risk being destroyed by your supernatural powers. And so my people have decided that you must die. Yeah! longer we're going to put up with this. Evidently, they don't know what psychoenergetic force is. I'm running out of patience. I don't know how to thank you. Forgive us for what we've done. You have offered ample proof that you mean us no harm. somebody's head for this. Sure. <laughs> You're a small one, aren't you? <laughs> Will you teach me to jump like you? <laughs> 
course oh, I will. Mine. Like a pretty little girl. No. What a great ring. What's your name? You like it? Off you go, children. Come along. <laughs> I hope they haven't been bothering you. Please forgive them. They're only children. They're so cute. Perhaps we allow them too much freedom. They weren't being a nuisance. My people, these strangers from a world that is alien are welcome among us. Being simple and peace-loving, they deserve our hospitality. We are the only survivors of an ancient and ill-fated civilization. May the good spirits protect you. You may go now. Return to your work. Come along. Where exactly are you from? You're the first visitors we've had since we settled. Well, there we go! What kind of a horrible monster is that? <laughs> That's a water buffalo. There's no need to be frightened. It's quite a harmless animal. It's true, it's harmless. Let's get... <laughs> what are they doing here? We're constructing a dam. And we have to finish it before the rainy season comes. If the river overflows its banks, it will flood the fields and destroy our crops. And we will have no food this winter. All right, all together now. You mean these rocks have to be piled up across the river? Yes. It's a long, slow job. They're very heavy. You down there. Move out of the way.
when he was stroking me, there was a strange light in his eyes. And he started fondling me all over my body until he climbed up on top of me. And it was fantastic. You must try it. Here, give me your hand. Don't you feel anything inside? Anything at all? No. Kiss me. Don't you feel anything at all? I feel that you, you're uh, stroking me. And that's all? What am I supposed to feel? That's strange. That boy really seemed to enjoy it. Oh. <laughs> hey, wait. Can you help me, please? Do you fancy him? I do. He's nice. Yes. <laughs> because he wants you. <laughs> I'd have him. <laughs> Would you like to have me? Sure, yes. Go with that. <laughs> Sit down. Watch how we do it. We'll have to abandon this planet as soon as possible. Otherwise, he'll destroy it, and these people don't deserve such a terrible fate. How can we leave? We haven't repaired the navigational system yet. We better go activate the defensive shield. Up radiation. Could it be from a spacecraft, my lord? Yes. Activate the astral scanner. There. That should do it. It's the planet Earth. The signal strength has diminished, my lord. We're getting radiation. They destroyed themselves in an atomic war. But the radiation was strong, and then it died out. It must have been that, my lord. No. It could be a hundred other things as well. Scan the planet for further signs of life, and then bring us back. It's the only solution. Every inch of this planet will be scanned. We will find them. You had better. My father used to tell me stories of far-off planets when I was a child. I thought they were fairy tales. He told me that the people of these planets live extremely short lives. These people are so technologically backward, I'm not surprised. But there 
There is something attractive about the way they live. Maybe science alone is not enough. Why have we never been taught about these things? My father also said that the people who've tasted the joys of life lose their gift of immortality. You mean we aren't immortal anymore? Does it matter? Princess. Princess. It's the first time you've called me that. Listen. What's the matter? the emergency boosters, we can leave any time we like. Let's try it. No. It's too dangerous. Because uh, of you... I'm sorry. But when you stand so close, my mind goes blank. I forget what I'm trying to say. If we activate any energy source, Oroclan will pinpoint our location immediately. Okay. What do we do then? I think we'd better get back to the village. Like this. Um, um. <laughs> um. 
man. As you know, every time the Four Seasons complete their cycle, we celebrate our festival of love. According to our custom, the boy who wins the contest will choose the companion he most desires, and together they will pass a night of love. Kame, the best man, win. Go ahead and good luck.
What does that mean? <laughs> Jealous. Jealousy means. Listen, <laughs> you can tell me some other time.
Enough of this playing around. Destroy the whole planet. We only shipped one Force 10 Mega Ray, my lord, and we used it against Ixala. So we will be patient. We'll hover in space above this point and wait. Eventually, they will have to reveal themselves. When they recharge the energy cells of their defensive shield, they will momentarily lose their protection. Exactly. Now take us into space. Yes, my lord. Center control. Gain altitude. We were happy to accept you as our friends. But since you've been with us, so many strange things have happened that my people have turned against you. And I am obliged to ask you to return to wherever you came from. We come from another planet, far away. We were lost and were carried to this galaxy by pure chance. We were trying to escape from our enemies. Now they've located us. We have to leave. They want to destroy us and they'll destroy you and your people. We don't want to involve you in our battle with the King of the Night. If we go now, he'll follow us and leave you alone. If what you say is true, then we cannot allow you to leave. We will need you and your supernatural powers to defend us. But you were right to try to get rid of us. Once we've left, you won't be in any danger, so let us go. No, never. Tie them up. Come, take them. Oh. <laughs> We don't you realize that if we hadn't considered you as friends, we would have killed you already. Defensive shield is still functioning. He must have known we were there. It's a wonder he didn't destroy the whole planet. It'll be a long trek before we re-enter our own galaxy. Well, we don't have to worry about getting bored. We did learn something from those people. Yeah. 
Contact. You can see the ship on the space monitor. What are they doing? It's amazing, when you think of the thousands of years we've wasted. They don't understand. Why don't they try to avoid us? They have nowhere to go, my lord. Their planet is uninhabitable and their space stations destroyed. Which means they are destined to wander through space for eternity. But I thought you wanted them destroyed too, my lord. I know. But something happened to them on Earth. First, I want to know what it is. And then... <laughs> we must surrender. What do you mean, surrender? Well, sure, I know we won't be able to do much, not with only one spaceship. But I'm not going to give up without a fight. Only when I'm in the presence of the king will I be able to carry out my revenge. Revenge? What do you mean? After thousands of years, our sexual powers have come back to life, and we haven't suffered any harm. On the contrary, we've acquired a powerful new dimension. I don't understand. I must have them alive! Program the attack modules. All modules assume delta formation. Surround the enemy spacecraft. Oriklan, powerful king of the night, you are the victor. I'm ready to give myself up to you. It's a very wise decision. <laughs> you had no other choice. Stand by for docking. Bring her to the throne room and summon the other kings. This is a great event. Come on. Prepare for boarding. Greetings, Bellstar. Oh, forgive me. Princess Bellstar. <laughs> you are finally in my power. Originally, I planned to kill you. But it would have been such a waste. My heart would suffer too much to see you dead. 
No. You will live. But as my slave, till the end of time. As for your courageous captain, he too will enjoy my mercy. He is condemned to forced labor for the rest of his cosmic life. But before I separate you, let me show you what has happened to your planet. Jamal, take us to Ixalan. But what's my lord? is dead, lifeless. Your father was stupid to resist me. The other kings and emperors of the galaxy have recognized my power and are my loyal allies. Jamal, bring them in. Keep going. Inside. Inside. Princess Bellstar. Enough of that! Before you pay for your sins, you'll watch this. Slave, come and kneel at my feet. My lord, before I dedicate my life wholly to you, please let me say my last goodbye to Lithan. Go to him. of years, yet I swear to you, my happiest moments were spent with you. Now that we've just begun to understand the real meaning of life, we must part forever. I'll never forget you. Here I am, my lord. I'll activate the self-destruction systems. Go and tie them. This horrendous world of evil has been destroyed forever. I and the other dethroned kings will return to our planets. What about you? What will you do? Where will you go? Our planet is lost forever. 
We have nowhere to go in this galaxy, but we found a new life elsewhere. We want to return to the planet where we learn to be happy. If you leave the galactic starboard, you'll lose the gift of immortality. You'll become vulnerable to sickness, old age, and death. Yes, we know. But love is worth it. Let's go. We don't have much time. Get to your spaceships. through three galaxies and endless solar systems. Where is that planet? There it is! There it is! Made me tremble, made me feel 